Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we are playing the Drifter demo. This is an early sneak peek of the game by indie game developer Powerhoof. It is a good game. It is a good demo. Like I said, I will have the link in the description below, so if you want to check it out and play it yourself, great. But let's go ahead and let's start this adventure. I jumped the car back in Breaker's Cut. Told myself I'd never come back. But well, shit. Here I am. This must be me. Damn. Shouldn't have told any I'd come. Don't know how she tracked down my number. My strong, big sister. Crying into the phone. Ah, oh, well. Okay, so, a little bit of the backstory. I'm, I guess, a drifter. So let's go ahead and... Okay, time to ditch this old girl. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I pull at the door, and it doesn't budge. Great. Putting my back into it this time. Strain against the frame. Ain't getting that open without some help. Okay, well, let's look around. Um, I got some vents. Familiar skyline peeks through the vents of the old reefer. City hasn't changed much in the last five years. Jeez, what am I going to say to Sarah? Hey, sorry about, you know, disappearing for half a decade. <laughs> Jesus. This guy got the backstory. Okay, so let's, uh, some empty crates. So if there's something I can actually do, it'll come up, but... At some point, you can see. So let's let's do this in my pack. Everything I need's in there, so not much. My phone, wallet, change of undies, and shaving kit, so I can freshen up when I need to. Plus the suit I'd borrowed for the funeral. Okay, so let's. I stood to pull back the tarp. Poor old guy had hardly stirred the whole trip, sleeping off one thing or another. Hey, give me a hand with this door. He mutters something under his breath, continues snoring. Okay, action item. So again, no interaction there. You can examine with the eye, talk to or use. So let's let's try to wake him up. Bending down, I shake him by the shoulder. I fall back as the iron bar whistles past my face. Hey, watch it. Quiet, you'll get us killed again. You've lost it, mate. You have to help. He glances to the side, listening. You're right. Try that. It's no use. What? Think. Think. He continues muttering under his breath. Okay. Look. Put it down. I'll put it through your skull. Think. Think. He returns to muttering to himself, eyes darting about wildly. The guy's got a screw loose. Don't fancy my chances trying to grab that bar. I grab the tarp. Okay, so I'm gonna tarp I him. Throw the tarp over the raving man, wrestling him to the ground. Dad, get it off! You don't know what you're doing. I gotta get out of here. All right. So now I definitely can use that to get through the door. I jam the bar into the frame. Lean into it. The door gives way with a screech. Sudden, blinding light stabs at my eyes. I spin back behind the door. The old guy, having finally freed himself, is caught like a rabbit in headlights. What have you done? Ah, oh, shit. Security. The man looks around frantically. Relax, I've been caught freight hopping before and taught my way out of it. Hey, we're with Western Rail. Jesus, what the hell? You've got to break the cycle. I can't. <laughs> oh, that is dark. Oh, God. Okay, so we got to get out of here. Squinting into the light, I glimpse silhouettes of armed men waiting and watching. Can't make out who they are, but not Metro security. That's for sure. Oh, shit. All right. 
Okay, so let's see. Might be the button. Dive past this door. Let's try that. Bullets shatter past me as I dive across the doorway. So this is a sneak peek, so I don't think everything is animated at the moment, which is fine. Okay, so let's see. How, what do I get? What do I got? Nothing in my pack. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. There we go. Grabbing my pack, I throw open the hatch and leap into the blackness on the far side of the train. Then I'm tumbling down a steep siding. Concrete rushing up to meet me. <laughs> I lie there looking at the sky, trying to process what just happened. I hear the distant sound of sirens, and above me, shouts, doors slamming tires on gravel then silence at least my phone's not busted <laughs> hey right, let's see what we got I pick it up screen flashing a blurry photo of my sister Annie Mick, hey yeah uh, hey how you doing you in town yet can't wait to catch up I uh, sure Jeez, Mick, show some enthusiasm we've got a funeral to plan same irrepressible Annie. You in town yet? When are you getting here? We need to go through Mum's things, find some photos for the wake. Did Uncle Phil call you? Uh, no. Did I need to... Ah, never mind. You're staying at ours tonight, yeah? Have the address? Yeah, uh, off Cooper Street, right? No, Jesus. We moved, like, over a year ago. Oh, sorry. I angry beeps from my phone. You gotta break out of that head of yours, Mick. Talk to Sarah? Annie, my phone's gonna run out. I can't. I... Just tell me your address. My battery. I know it's hard for you, but you're gonna have to face her. Annie, your address. Okay, okay, sorry. I know I shouldn't push you, but... Nope. I look down at my dead phone. Shit. No idea what her address is. How am I supposed to remember they moved? Ugh. Better find a way to ring her back. Okay, so let's look around what we hear. Okay, so we have review topics up here. So I can't call my sister how to find this funeral. I'm supposed to go. They sat the man in cold blood. Who are they? So we have kind of questions up there for discussions. Let's go look around. This looks Bill, like. Is that you? Mick, what are you doing here? Bill used to hang out around the shelter where Sarah worked. Known him since I was a kid. Uh, back for a funeral. Mum, uh, Mum died. Oh, Mick. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Long time coming. She'd been, uh, she'd been sick for a while. You don't sound okay. I don't know. All right, got questions down there. What? You must have heard the shots. Let's go with I'm that. I'm a bit shaken up, to be honest. Just been shot at up on the railway. Jesus, really? Thought that was some kids playing with fireworks. So what, some trigger-happy med officers? Couldn't be. They left when they heard sirens. Jesus, Mick. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, can I borrow your phone? I'm meant to stay at my sister's tonight, but my battery's dead and I don't have her address. Of course. Got her number? Shit. Look it up? Ah, oh, it'll be unlisted. Could call her practice, but she wouldn't be back in until after the funeral. Fuck. What am I gonna do? What's Bill doing? staying at the pit anymore? The Pitt Street Homeless Support Center. I'd ended up there as a kid. It's where I met Sarah. She had to shut it down, man. Oh, shit. Why? Oh, you should know more than me. Surely Sarah told you. Sarah, my wife. I guess ex-wife now? I haven't talked to her in a long time. Since, you know. Oh, right. Jeez. Sorry, Mick. It's all right. Okay. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Good evening, sir. My name's Angela Grace. I write for the Herald. Can I ask your name? Okay, well, you don't have to tell me. Anyway, I really want to find out what it's like out here for you homeless. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hello? Leave the poor guy alone. He's clearly asleep. Oh, hi. My name is Angela Grace. I write for the Herald. Can I ask your name? Uh, no. Kid like this shouldn't be out here. Not your problem, Mick. 
Okay, let's we click that by accident. Let's let's figure out what's going on with this car here. Cause hey, this car works. Why not? It stinks of petrol. They must have siphoned some to try and torch it. I glance around inside. No keys, but the lighter socket catches my eye. I think my phone charger has an adapter that it fit. Okay, cool. I got that now. Uh, let's see. Should see if my charger will fit the lighter socket. Hmm. I think my phone charger had a 12 volt. Should still be in my pack. Uh, did I leave my pack out? Or oh, here it is. Okay, let's. Pack must have caught something sharp on the way down. Ripped it right open. I fish out my phone's charge cable. The only thing worth salvaging. Okay, cool. So let's go back here. So this is one of the games that you need to actually do everything before it opens up like a dialogue for it. I toss the cigarette lighter and plug my phone into the socket. Nothing. Might only charge while the engine's running. And the keys aren't in the ignition. God damn it. Okay, so now we're going to ask Mr. Bell about this car. What's with the car? <laughs> Kids joyriding, I guess. Can't even torch a car properly. <laughs> Still... It's my own private suite until they cart it off, eh? They leave the keys? Yeah. Need them? Sure. Might be able to charge my phone. Bill fishes the keys from one of his many pockets. Thanks. Oh, okay. Let's use it. Oh. I need it for the ca- Yes. Leaning in, I try the key. The red charging light on my phone blinks on, but then the engine splutters and dies. Guess they drained all the fuel trying to burn the bastard. Okay, so we need fuel. Uh, he cannot help me. Let's, let's go this way. Oh, look at that. Petrol can. Love it. Shake the can. Slosh of petrol at the bottom. That should be enough. Anything else over here? Nope. Got another review topic up here, but we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's put this in. Metallic smell of old petrol stings my nostrils as it glugs into the tank. All right. Nothing. Okay, there must be something wrong under here. It sounded like no fuel was getting through. Damn. Still can't see anything wrong. Right, let's see if we can get some help. I think I need help with this engine. Mind hopping in? Sure. You guys are certainly friendly. I mean, I guess we know him from before. Okay, try it now. The engine turns over, and I see fuel stream from a hose beneath. Ah, here it is. What's the problem? Tear in the fuel line between the pressure regulator and injectors. Damn, gonna need a replacement. Thanks, Bill. Okay, so now now we can go under here. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have this busted old washer machine. Loose panel on the side. I kick it open. I could use that hose for the car. Come on, you asshole! Bloody thing's screwed in there too tight. With this help? I glance up. Kid's holding an oversized hunting knife like it's a snake. Jesus. Absolutely. Really should get involved. <laughs> hey, so. Hi. Right. Uh, what are you doing down here? I write for the Herald. I really want to find out what it's like out here for you homeless. You homeless? God help me. Okay, look, I'm not homeless. So. Oh great, that's great. So how long have you been staying out here, Mister? Uh. Carter, and I'm not staying out here. Jesus, will you put that thing away? Sorry, sorry. Just a few questions. No! I need it. What are you doing carrying a knife like that? You know, protection. Jeez. All that's gonna do is get you stabbed. What's wrong with a whistle or pepper spray or something? I can look after myself. Whatever. Can I borrow it? Well, if you can answer my questions. Oh, God help me. <laughs> Fine. Great. So, Mr. Carter. Right. So, Mr. Carter, what led you to be living down here? I'm not. So, 
Look, maybe I don't mind living rough. Maybe I prefer it to being tied down. But I work. I have places I can stay. I'm fine. Next question. Okay, well, surely you've noticed the recent spate of disappearances, not to mention the mental illness-related violent crimes. I'll stop you there. No, haven't heard a thing. You going to help me or not? Ugh, maybe I should ask Bill. Okay, let's go. Whoop. Oh, we got questions here, so... You'll hear about the shooting. She looks up sharply. Shooting? What shooting? Don't get involved, Mick. Oh, uh, nothing. Must have misheard. No, I'm interviewing about all these homeless going missing. That or going crazy. Right. Another college kid thinks they can fix people. Don't suppose you have a portable phone charger? No. Wait, you have a phone? Uh, yeah. Guess you think just because I don't have a place to stay, I don't have a phone. Well, I don't... Everyone has a phone, lady. Alright, let's see. Okay. What was that about mental illness? Cops say they're swamped with violent crimes, hobos going nuts, spouting gibberish. Seen anything like that? That guy in the rail car. No, sorry. Look, folks take what they can to help them through the night. And there's a lot of bad shit out there. You get kids acting crazy all the time. Yeah, yeah, I know all this. Give me something I can use, all right? Ugh, I'll ask around. Okay, and then... You think people have been disappearing? There used to be a whole community down here. Where are they all? I was a kid last time I was down here, but it does seem quiet. Cops are ignoring it, of course. Nice story, but it's just business as usual. Folks, they move on. Maybe they find a job, maybe they quietly die. No one gives a shit and no one's keeping tabs. It's all bullshit. If you want my help, just ask around for me or something. Oh, okay. So let's, let's go back out here. And this is, Bill seems like a friendly fellow, so let's see what he can do with this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Maybe a dumb question, but why is it so quiet down here? Malinji. Uh, what? Shadowy figures with burning eyes. Taking people in the night. Folks calling them Malinji. Right. <laughs> Well, that's the story going round. People have been going missing, but it's been a cold winter. I think that's all there is to it. He shrugs. Okay, so we can go back here. We can see if... There we go. I asked around, and it does seem there's something to what you're saying. I knew it. Just stories getting shared. Shadowy demons with glowing eyes that drag people off in the night. Malinji. They're calling them. Interesting. Nonsense is what it is. Typical tweaker shit. You want to publish that? Be my guest. All right. Uh, I guess I'm not done. I guess I need to probably talk to Bill a little bit more. Hey, Bill. You noticed people acting weird recently? Well, I'm, I mean, yeah. You heard about the pit. All right. They shut it down? Yeah. Well, I was helping Sarah out there. She let me stay when there was a spare bed. That's Sarah for you. But people on the street been getting crazy, eh? Nothing new. Not like this, Mick. Everyone's scared. Solid blokes, you know? Fine one day. Next day, they're going nuts. Sarah ended up in hospital. Oh, Jesus. Well, she's all right, but couldn't keep the place open. I should have been there for her. Like she needed more reason to hate me. Some bad new gear people getting into? I don't know, Mick. I think this is something else, eh? Don't suppose you've seen any quarter-inch hose around? <laughs> this ain't a hardware store. There's a bunch of junk in the underpass, though, eh? Okay. So now maybe... There we go. I tell her what Bill said about the pit, and reluctantly, what I'd seen in the rail car. Thanks, this is great stuff. Just keep my name out of it. Look, I answered your questions. Can I use that knife or what? Yeah, all right. She hands it to me warily. You can have it back if you like, but honestly, you're more likely to get stabbed with it than without. I guess. Look, you seem all right, kid. Go talk to Bill, old guy out there. He loves a good yarn. Oh, thanks. I cringe at what Bill will think as she bounces off to talk to him. <laughs> uh, so let's use this knife. 
got it. And Hello? Oh. The keys are gone. My charger. No. Get off me, you. Ah! Uh-oh. Let me go. The hell? What's going on? Please. Jesus, they look like SAS or something. Ah! He's dragging the reporter to the boat. What do they want with her? Was she actually onto something? Uh, so we got review topics. I, I have a knife. Okay. This stinky little knife won't do squat against two armed soldiers. I think these are the guys that shot the old timer up at the railway. Shadowy figures with burning eyes. The Malingi? Shove from behind. Wait! Oh! Icy cold shocks me awake. Frozen. Can't move. Can't feel. I see only blackness. So, I got a knife. Let's see if I can... I struggle, gasp in panic, and the blackness fills my lungs. Then I have no breath to scream. I try to fight it, but the ice in my lungs coils its way to my brain. And I know that I am dying. The cold blackness falls away, leaving only nothing. And I know, somehow, I am dead. But then, every neuron of my brain firing all at once, tearing apart, twisting out in all dimensions, then contracting, speed of light, back into nothing. Sudden icy cold shocks me awake. The same sensations, the same panic from minutes before. Only this time, I remember to hold my breath. There we go. Good man. I managed to work the knife from my back pocket and awkwardly saw through the ropes. I wrench the sack from my face. My eyes sting as I blink through the water, trying to get my bearings. Oh, God. Let's see, can I cut I set there. to work on the rope, knife slipping in my hand. My vision starts to dim, my lungs filling with fire. I'm barely a quarter way through, and I'm not gonna make it. Oh, we can grab this. I grab the jerry can as it sinks past. Still some air inside, just a little, but awkwardly I juggle the can, trying to get my mouth around the opening. But I only managed to suck in dirty water. Oh. Pushing the tube into the can, I suck the water from it and take a breath. I almost gag on the oily fumes, but I've bought myself a few more seconds. I right, now. The shorter tube's no good. Oh. I return to cutting with renewed strength. At last, the ropes give way. I kick to the surface, glimpse brutalist concrete rising from the chop, and swim towards it. Collapsed on the embankment, shivering in the bitter wind, I try to make sense of what's happened. I... died. They killed me. But I am no longer dead. And there is your story. So, I mean, like I said, that was, I enjoyed that a huge amount. I thought it was really good, really well made. I am looking forward to definitely more of the same. But yeah, so that is pretty much where it leaves it, just with one chapter. It's about 25 minutes in. I don't know how much quicker you could do it, but if you want to experience, you definitely can. I did survive the demo, but when I'm heading back here, everyone is gone.
and so then we pretty much get the, the reel of a lot of the stuff that's going on. It's a decently sized reel of what we're going to be dealing with. But like I said, you want to see a full thing? Hey, check it out. Like I said, link in the description below. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.